Good morning, everyone. Today is Monday. Today is the 10th of February. And just checking in on the markets now, 6.22 a.m. Futures are down a little bit. We got the Dow Futures down 14 points. I'll show you right over here. Just got looking at Tesla after their uh, week. So here you got the Dow Futures down about 10 points. S&P down about a point, well, half a point. Uh, NASDAQ down about eight and a half. You got gold. Still slowly catching bids, you know, silver, crude. Uh, let's see your overseas markets. Here's your Asian markets. Uh, looks like they were kind of selling off. Let's check European markets, and they too look like they are declining. Now our futures, of course, are weak. Am I expecting a down day today? Not really sure, but from the indications of the futures, I'm not expecting a big sell-off as of right now. It doesn't look like there's a lot of fear. Uh, let me just see where these markets were. No. These are normal percentages to be, you know, given up. So, there's no fear. So, our markets could probably rise today. And I would be, as of right now, I'd be looking for buys. Uh, let's see what's going on over here. <clears throat> All right, just some stuff, nothing really relevant for me right now. The coronavirus, so, you know, like I said, I've been anticipating that the data coming out of China is false. And uh, new infections, confirmed on a ship up close to Japan, death toll now 908. Yeah, so, you know, that's rising too, you know, that coronavirus, it's a big secret. And we're gonna see in the upcoming days to weeks to months, what really is going on there. It is killing more people than SARS already. We do know that, that is a fact. And these are, uh, you know, just checking out some stuff. Just kind of catching up on a lot of this myself, morning news. So that was the Dow last week, so you could see everything sold off. <clears throat> and I did post on uh, Friday, I think I believe selling will continue until Monday. <clears throat> but just watching events over the weekend and watching now how markets are and the bullishness of our economy and our companies. Down 18 points. I think it will go up today, people. I do. <clears throat> So here's investors for us. I post this usually on a Saturday or Sunday, just like the A part of the paper, just to give you a snapshot of the headlines and what's going on, and just that thought process maybe. It could help. It helped me throughout my career. You know, information is key, so the more you have, you know, you can form your own ideas. And that's what it's all about, forming your own ideas. Just because someone likes something or recommends something doesn't mean they're right. So AMD I mentioned a few times, so stock of the day. I really don't know what this stock of the day does. I don't really follow it, but I like AMD, so hey, I'll click it. You know, sometimes I do click, I'm just curious what, but that's not what I want to see. I just want to pull up a little info. Let's see, just AMD. So here's, you know, your AMD. So they already made a, took a swipe at Intel, and they've been going head-to-head -head with NVIDIA now on that GPU gaming market. They're doing great with the processors, and uh, yeah, here you have AMD. So stock check up 99. So they are ranked number one. Good for something, right? But once again, you know, you could be buying it right now based on this, and it goes right down to 40. You know, so you, know, you just gotta watch. Market watch. So here's uh, some of your IPOs for the week, this week. So here's one if you wanna take a look at. Let's click on the second one. And there it is, Revolution. So that's your two companies. We'll close that out. And then here's just a chart on the Tesla. So, you know, right here is where I'm concerned, you know, like, it looked great, got a nice jump here, low gap, you got another gap, another gap, you know, it's a gapper, <laughs> you know, but now, you know, it kind of filled this one right here, you know, it's 
it looks like it wants to, it could start forming a base here, you know, and then build up here. You know, people could build charts any way they want. They could also form it going down here. They could form it just dropping right here. You know, so with Tesla, you got to follow the markets. Because if our markets are up, then Tesla most likely is going to go up. But it could come into trading. And if that happens, then you could see it come down. Where are we right now? You know, you see a trade around here, intraday. You know, then bounce back up here. You know, have 20, 40 point swings. And it's very common for a stock like this. Ultimately, you know, when we come under 700, we're probably going to be coming somewhere around here, of course. You know, it's easy to say because you got to come here first before you get down here, if you ever get down here. You know, so if the markets do come in like 1,000, 2,000 points, yes, you will see Tesla get inspected. But, um,. You know, based on what we're seeing in the data provided right now, eh, Tesla, you know, should be fine. So I don't see this right now. But I do see, you know, right over here, around the 690, 660 range. You know, we're going to come back here eventually. And then we could come back here too. You know, nothing just hangs up to this area and this upper range, but sometimes they do, and then they do go up from here, and this was the base that it formed. So, you know, still trying to see where it goes. You could catch it, you know, intraday for maybe up to 40 point swings, you know, you'll see on a, a Tesla. Maybe even greater than that. I don't know what you will see today or tomorrow, but it's likely in this company. So, um, let's see. So, other earnings reports this week that I noticed. We got Cybar, so that's popular because of um, security. Big topics. Then we have Baba, which is uh, Alibaba from China. And then I put another one, MIM, M-I-M-E. Just kind of caught my attention. I forgot what they do, so um, I'll put that report in there. It's in another video, so you could kind of take a look. And um, earnings from last week, so we had Uber, we had Pins, we had Twitter, Activision. Those are some that did well, so I'll just put up a quick chart and then I'll let everybody go and uh, get ready for your day. So just put up an Uber for you. So slow right now, I don't know why. This weekend, my internet's just been like dragging. I had to reset my router and everything a few times. Guess they're doing some work or something. Okay, so here we go. Here's Uber. So see, that was earnings, and you got that gap. You know, now people are very bullish, so you know, hey, it could go up, 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 up. You know, does it come down here? Maybe, maybe not. I think it's likely if you get, you know, a dip in the market, you know, you get the Dow down today, but I think we're going up today, then, you know, this is going to rise with it. Let's get pins in there. Now move fast. Look at that gapper. See? Most likely they retrace, and sometimes they don't. So I see all that. Twitter. Look at that, another gapper. Beautiful, you know? And this is what the charts are doing, and these gaps are earning gaps. And earning gaps could be filled very easily with the markets. And it's Activision. It's a nice three month on it. That looks good. Not too wild, and this this isn't anything wild right here. This is good. Take two interactive. Got mangled a little bit, so I'll just show you a gap down, you know. Yeah, make the legs. And then boom. Let's 
So you let this one decline a little more before you enter positions. They got some internal issues. Hence this move. This just confirmed it. And uh, then Bitcoin, I'll just go right there for a quick minute. I did a video on this a little earlier. You know, it was very exciting news. You know, it hit 10,000, not too exciting. You know, been there a bunch of times. So, you know, I just didn't see too much momentum. I know people wanted it, crypto Twitter, crypto YouTube. You know, everyone wants to see it. I want to see it too, but it'll happen. It'll go up and then it'll form good bases and then it'll rise and then it'll never look down again. But right now it is. So just be cautious, stay tuned. When it comes down like this, here's where you want to buy Bitcoin. Not when it's breaking out like other people were telling you. And um, yeah, so that's it, everybody. So thank you for tuning in. It's about 6.33 in the morning. So I uh, hope this just gives you a little insight for the day. Nothing special, not too much information. I was more into Bitcoin this morning when I woke up just seeing it. So, you know, that's where a lot of my attention went. So just getting out a little stock video for everybody. If it helps, great. If not, I'll try and make it better. <laughs> so uh, happy trading, everybody. And good morning. And thank you for stopping by. Take care.